Okay. It might be a little noisy, sorry. It's like, uh, we're in Florida, so a hurricane's about to happen, or sorts, you know, really windy, so we're upstairs, so it's gonna be a lot of banging, so sorry, but anyway. Does that look good? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, boom. Apple cider vinegar. Uh, this is the one I'm using. I, I've also been using capsules by, I don't even, I won't say their name because they're just not working. Uh, I tried upper, other apple cider vinegar and it doesn't work. Uh, this one works. I'm not, this is not paid. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Experiment with it what you want. I'm not a doctor, just some stupid me heads. This is just how it has helped me. But in the past, it has not helped these issues. So, oh, real quick, shameless plug. See this really cool shirt? So besides the meats and the supplements and all that, but I focused, after 20 some years, this more, instead of wholesaling, more to you retailing, but we can customize, excuse me, I got hiccups. I can customize anything you want. I have a whole bunch of designs, mainly on the Etsy store. My personal website is, is slowly coming along again. Uh, this is all pumped up Wade. It's my personal design. Natty for life, which you can't see. Uh, tons of stuff. I have tons of patriotic stuff and fitness stuff and some kid stuff coming up. So anyway, there's a shameless plug. So I have probably racked up fifty to eighty-five thousand dollars in medical bills for my feet for plantar fasciitis, mainly the inflammation in my calves, and I have. I do that uh, you know 18 inch I've always had like 18 inch calves uh, massive shin splints and then the bloatedness which m probably some of you know is from primarily from the sleep apnea machine I for my gut doctor have been taking all different pills to help with that the IBS um, and then recently my liver is just elevated a lot so I've stopped taking all the gut medicine and sorry I'm getting a little track so I've seen several sports doctors various doctors for my calves and shin splints I've had I don't know all different x-rays like a CT scans all the different scans of that of my feet uh, you could never find anything Every few years, I go to a different doctor, try them all different up, nothing happens. Went to a foot doctor, plantar fasciitis. Okay, went to sports rehab, cool. Um, calves, we don't know, the bloatedness. I just had a another CT scan on my whole, on the insides, everything is 100% fine, except for the liver was a little tightly enlarged, but it's non-fatty non-alcoholic non fatty liver which most of us have which I don't understand why I have it because the meats yes I sell meats so all my meats come directly from the farm for the most part I know what's in them I don't eat grocery store meat I don't eat out at restaurants uh, fast food once or twice a year maybe as far as my drinking yeah, I'll have a stupid bang energy drink once in a while which are terrible uh, for me personally I just there's something in them addictive and they really get me upset but they just there's something about them they're addictive pre-workout every once in a while, some other supplements with the sucralose in it, uh, but I've really just cut out every, all, a lot of that recently and just doing like various pills or whatever. Um, so I don't know why I have oh, uh, kombucha, tea, hot, like normal hot tea, really no sugary drinks at all, no alcohol, no nothing. So I don't understand why I have the fatty liver, but my enzyme, my liver is going through the roof in like the last year because now with my cancer doctor, I get my blood work done every two, it was a lot, but now it's every three months. My endocrinologist is in every every three to six months, so I'm getting my blood work done always all the time, but now even more than normal with my cancer doctor. So my I got tons of blood work, and my liver is just shot through the roof. So anyway, my gut doctor said, see nutritionist. That's all I can legally tell you to do. I says, well, I'm super healthy, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, whatever. So... I decided to try, because of Pac-Man again, Ben Mikulski, whatever, apple cider vinegar again, again. Was doing it two to three times a day, four times a day. Uh, was, you know, diluted with lemon and water and all that. And all of a sudden, my gut wasn't rock hard like it normally is. It was just looser and fatter and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. 
Uh, my calves shrunk a little bit, but there was no inflammation, no more shin splints. My feet didn't hurt. Uh, the plantar or fasciitis, whatever, was gone. So, like, huh. But my blood work still showed my liver was going up and up and up. And it's pretty bad. It's, I should have looked. It's like over 100 or something like that. And it was normally like 40, high 40s, which is borderline high. So I'm like, okay. So I started adding pills to it. Because mother's like, it's going to eat your teeth away, young man. So I started taking the pills and backed off the liquid. All of a sudden, about a week or two into it, everything came back. So yesterday and today, I started ODing on the liquid again. And all of a sudden, whew, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, feet already stopped hurting, the shins are, and everything's starting to go away. So, I think I mentioned before, I've seen every single doctor. Nobody knows what it is. I'm curious to see. I'm going to st stay on the liquid apple cider vinegar for the next, because I know I have blood work done in the next few weeks or months or whatever. Anyway, so, and hopefully it comes down, but... Whatever apple cider vinegar is doing now is helping me, but it has not helped in the past. I've tried apple cider vinegar. Maybe I didn't stick with it. I can't remember. I tried, I've tried. i tried it over the years many, many times, and it just has not worked. But again, so right now, for some dumb reason, again, I'm not a medical person. I'm just some dumb idiot jock, meathead. Uh, I have plantar fasciitis, inflammation. Oh, even my inflammation in my forearms is gone too. So... I've actually been able to get back in the gym and make my workouts a little easier for that. So, I think that's everything. But anyway, uh, I think it's so. I think it's awesome. It's helped me. So, can't. You can just try it. Sorry, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart.